this is my third year as principal. So my first year as principal, our PBIS team and BIT team, we were at a loss kind of of, you know, it's not just about individual kid behavior. It has to do with systems. It has to do with programming. We're not teaching kids the behavior that we are expecting. And um, a number of members of our team really pushed Playworks. They said, I've seen it at other schools. I've seen that it's worked. You know, we should consider it. And so then we started a conversation with um, people from Playworks about the different options and we right away chose the team up um, for financial, but it was even bigger than financial, which was we didn't want to go the route of starting with having a coach that everybody relied on because then it would not build the, that ownership and build the capacity of our staff. So that is why we chose that it was really to have enough support, but then to have that um, really the coach is only there one week a month. So it can't be systems that rely on the coach. Mm -hmm. They have to rely on our staff. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a, a great way to think about systems regarding recess and play, and um, I'm a strong advocate of healthy, inclusive play, as uh, Playworks says, um, for child development. And what we have is, you know, we have constraints, right? Like we have an all-concrete playground that it doesn't ha it lend itself to all these great playing opportunities, but what Playworks has helped us with is figuring out how to use our space, how to use our staff, how to use the constraints that we have and create better systems because we can get very hung up on the individual student fights or this or that and why why are those things happening is what we had to look mm -hmm. at and um, so as part of our school improvement plan and start part of our thinking about social emotional learning playworks just fit right into that and so it's been really helping with uh, we also have second step and so we've been starting with that and so it's just another way to push the whole community building and if we have relationships with kids and we can set clear expectations and we tell them how we expect them to behave and what the adult expectations are then we're going to get better student behavior a happier school kids are going to want to play more and now we're seeing things that extend beyond the school day i mean i'm watching out the window at five o'clock at night and kids are playing doing rochambeau at the four square <laughs> So, I mean, this is extending to the neighborhood, and they're not always kids from our school, but our kids are now knowing these tools of how to resolve conflict peacefully, of how to um, play in and, and, and better ways. So I'm even seeing it impact the community as well.